All right, thanks. And I'm joined now by David Osborne. He is the author of Reinventing America's Schools, Creating a 21st Century Education System. Thanks for taking some time for us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. You wrote, we have inherited a 20th century system. We have inherited 20th century systems whose centralized control and vast web of rules repel innovation and frustrate innovators. Obviously, you're not pleased with what's going on in educational systems across the country today. Well, it's hard to be pleased. I mean, if you look at how we stand against other countries, um, you look at performance, particularly in our urban systems, it's, it's pretty dismal. I would say yeah. that overall, the public schools work for only about half the kids. You have said that um, we, we should be able to learn some lessons from what New Orleans was, has done. New Orleans was given the opportunity to recreate its system after Hurricane Katrina. Explain that. So, New Orleans was one of the worst systems in the country. The state legislature was completely fed up with it. It was almost bankrupt. It was corrupt. Uh, the educational levels were dismal. And so after Katrina, the legis state legislature, both parties passed a yeah. bill saying, we're going to take any school in New or public school in New Orleans performing below the state average and put it in our recovery school district, which they had created two years before to turn around failing schools. And this essentially created charter schools. Well, gradually the recovery school district turned the schools over to charters. For a while yeah. they thought they would run some and the charters would run some and both would do just as well. But in fact, the charters outperformed them significantly. So they and, did the rational thing. Here. They gradually every year turned more over to charters until a couple of years ago, that district was entirely charters. and. The local district, which kept the high-performing schools, which were mostly selective magnet schools, um, also chartered most of its schools. And this year, they're going to convert their last schools, and all of those schools are going to return yeah. to the local district. So it will be the first locally elected school board that has 100% charter schools in And you the, said, quote-unquote, the results should shake the very foundations of American education. So listen, before we run out of time, is this an example? that can be used in, in, in public school systems across the country. Absolutely, and it is being used. There are other cities moving in this direction. The book talks about Washington, D.C., which has almost half its kids in charters, and they outperform the traditional district. Uh, Denver, which embraced charters over a decade ago and is a, another of the fastest improving cities in the country, along with D.C. and New Orleans. Indianapolis, where there's a healthy yeah. charter sector, and the district is beginning to treat its own schools much like charters and getting dramatic results. So, yes, this is a model that seems to fit today's world and in urban America is producing the fastest growth in the country. Okay, listen, I know we've only scratched the, the, the surface here, but once again, your book is Reinventing America's Schools, Creating a 21st Century Education System. And you, uh, if you want to, uh, anyone in the audience wants to hear a little bit more from uh, you, you'll be speaking tonight at the Hunt Library at NC State. Is that correct? What time? That is correct. Uh, I believe the speech is at 7 p.m. 7 p.m., okay. Uh, Mr. Osborne, it's great hearing from you. Thanks very much for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. That's our end-up conversation for today. Right now, it's time to check in with the Weather on the Ones Forecast Center.